Hello, it's Dr. Morrison again. It's been a while since I've had the chance to talk with everybody. And you know, a lot has changed in the last 18 months. 12 months, 6 months, 3 months, the last few weeks. And just when we thought we'd never get rid of our masks, we're starting to. But not everywhere. We have, unfortunately, conflicting guidelines, new guidelines from federal sources, state sources, and it's sometimes hard to navigate that. It's confusing to all of us when we're out in public and we're never sure, should I have that mask or shouldn't I have that mask? So what I want to do is clear up what it is today as far as healthcare offices. CDC guidelines, which is not a governmental authority, it's only an advisory agency, but often f followed by government agencies. And, and we have to utilize guidance from the Virginia Department of Health, the uh, governor's office, uh, which often do follow some of those guidelines. And in this case, mask wear for everyone in healthcare offices is still part of the lay of the land. Uh, it is part of our mandate. And so at this point, everyone that comes in our offices, and, and actually it should be any healthcare office, needs to wear a mask. Where this gets a little different is the screening questions that I know everybody has come to know and love that you fill out every time you go to see your physician or your dentist or uh, any healthcare provider, and the temperature checks, those can start to go away if a patient voluntarily, and I stress voluntarily, provides documentation that they have been vaccinated or that they had a previous COVID positive test and they have recovered uh, so that they would have natural immunity. Once those things are voluntarily provided, then we will no longer need to screen that person or take their temperature check and, and we will flag your uh, personal record. And this is all HIPAA control and part of your personal private healthcare record. And we can dispense with some of those things. I'm sure things will change again in the future, but that's where we are today. Now, if you haven't been in for a while, we invite you to come in this summer to make an investment in your health. And do that before our schedules fill up, before the kids do actually go back to school. And allow us to take a look uh, if you haven't been in for a while or you or, or the effects of wearing that mask all the time. And the things that we do are still the same things that you know us to do. We will keep you safe, we will keep you comfortable, and we will always keep your health care as our first priority. We look forward to seeing you around.